everyone and uh, welcome back to the Western Centurion channel and today is Good Friday so that can only mean it's our long Easter weekend. Woohoo! Brilliant! And even better, I have a spare couple of hours to try and make this video or the update on the fiddle yard and what I've been up to. Um, I know it's been four weeks since I last did my video so I'm sorry about the delay in that but um, life just swept me up and carried me away and before you know it a month has passed but yeah so I've got to make good use of this two hours to get this video done and edited and hopefully uploaded tonight ready for you all tomorrow which is going to be Saturday but first I need to, I'd like to start this video off with saying um, to Graham Wood uh, Woody it's really sad to see that you've decided to stop doing your model railway um, but like all of us understands and um, you're truly going to be missed by us all but obviously we all wish you all the best in your new project of wood turning and I really do hope that once you get back into that that you start doing some videos for us and, and share share that new hobby with us all all right I love woodwork I used to love doing wood turning at school and I love to see what you come up with all right so yeah from me and everybody else in this hobby good luck mate okay and have fun um, so what have I been up to in these four weeks well first of all I need to say a, um, a thank you to Tim Buck because Tim left a comment on my last video about um, moving Wooden Bassett Junction from this side of the garage to that side behind the camera. Now I thought about doing it but I hadn't seriously considered it but um, after Tim's comment I thought well let's just give it a go. So I took it all up and I moved it over that side and relayed all the track and um, in the little bit of time I've had over the last four weeks um, I've been playing about with it, tweaking it here and there and um, I think I've actually come up with something that's going to work. It's still going to need a bit more tweaking, maybe just reducing the length of how I've got it so I can get it to all fit in, but at the end of the day it's going to work out a lot better that side of the garage than it would have done this side of the garage. So um, Tim, brilliant mate, thank you very much. That really really has inspired me to get it on this side of the garage and um, another comment that was left by John Canal Sidings was um, how can I call it Wooden Bassett Junction if there isn't, isn't a junction and he's so right I couldn't could I it would just be Wooden Bassett Station so um, Along with that tweaking, and by putting it this side of the garage, I've been able to make it a junction, which means I can have the two signal boxes in place. So I can have a um, uh, signal box east and signal box west. Uh, but I'll show you that in a minute anyway, when I get the camera off the tripod and take you around so you can actually see what's, what's being created, shall we say. And... Um, Another comment that was left by Reinhard was that uh, I had um, short turnouts next to the station and he recommended putting in either medium or long turnouts. So I've, I've taken the two shorts out and put in long points. And the other thing he recommended was taking out the diamond crossings and putting in uh, double slips. So I don't have any double slips, but I've printed off the Pico templates, cut them out and put those in place so you'll be able to see how that will work. And um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it actually at the moment. Um, so now I've got that done and I'm happy with it, I can take it all down and get started on the fiddle yard underneath, which is going to take me quite a while to do, but it's going to be fun to do, that will be for sure. And I, I'm so looking forward to actually getting some track down, some point work down and uh, maybe getting something running 
in the next oh, five, six months. Sounds a long time, but for me, time just flies at the moment. I'm just so busy. And um, I'd also had a thought about looking at my incline to see if I can make it any better, especially after seeing uh, Graham from Lakeside and your elongated helix. What a fabulous idea that was. And boy, didn't it work well. Um, so I would still might have a look at something like that, so I don't have to use magnets. The uh, only trouble I'll have is actually at the ends of the garage where I've got the drop down sections, but I can spend a bit of time looking at that, seeing if it'll work. And uh, I just might do that, but we'll have to see, won't we, in the future. Right, so what I'll do, I'll get the camera off the tripod and um, I'll just take you around so you can see what the track plans are looking like now on that side of the garage okay so don't go away be back in a moment Watson Bassett Junction track plans now um, this I managed to get from the steam museum in Swindon actually very kindly sent me um, I think these track plans for for around about the 50s 60s um, and as you can see it's quite extensive and also what it was called a junction um, and the best thing about this as well if I get this in close it's got all the details about the signaling and then if we come down actually to the plans you can see where the signals were and they're all numbered so that gives me a good indication on what signals went where and obviously this is a junction area here so we've got the track here that goes off to Wales and the track here that goes off to Bristol and this is what I managed to get on the layout this side of the garage and what's even better single box west and then down here we have single box east which the way it is now I can actually fit both of those in. It's going to be tight mind but it is doable. I don't think I can get all of these uh, sidings in here and down here. Got quite a few around here as well and up there. But once I actually start on the top layer I can have a damn good go at seeing how much I can squeeze in because this I think will give me a lot of fun just doing some shunting and, and moving rolling stock around like they would have done originally back in the day as they say so if I pan the camera back out and we come here you can see what I've managed to get done now obviously not many of the sidings are in at the moment but I have the junction in so what we have down here we have this is the down line and the upline which would go to Bristol so that is this section here and then this bit we have the downline and the upline to Wales which back up here is that section here and the signal box west in between the two so yes I managed to actually get that to fit in well nearly managed to get it to fit in because if I take you down the rest of the track here you can see is where I put in the um, double slips after a uh, Ryan Hart's recommendation that the locos should run a lot better over those than the diamond points got another set of double slips here we've got a uh, signal box east keep coming down a bit more and here we have the good shed and where I plan to put the engine shed and have the coal and water on this separate bit of track and then we come down to the station itself so these are the points I replaced that one 
and that one they were short turnouts I've now put in long turnouts and uh, you're right Reinhardt is a lot better and it looks a lot better as well so we get down to the station and oh yes one of the other things in the last video thank you very much everyone for um, helping me and explaining to me what the carriage shoot was and you're all so right it is it this is obviously where you'd come in with your horse and carriage the horses would come up this ramp and be loaded on here and the carriages would come up here and be loaded onto a special wagon on the back so your horses and your carriage could uh, go off to wherever destination you're going to and at the end of there get off and reattach your horses to the carriage so brilliant and I will be keeping that in in here and uh, I think I'll just make a lovely special addition to the station but as you can see when we get down here <laughs> to the end of the station where the bridge should be here going across there's absolutely no way I'm going to get that to curve round so that means I have to move all this baseboard to here or the station's got to end here so that we can get a nice gentle curve round over this gap here which that then obviously means I'll show you from here you can see all the way down from the track to what it's going to be like I have to move the baseboards or if not the baseboards but then the tracks gonna to have to come over over here which is the drop down section or the probably on here on the top section it will be a lift up um, it's doable it will work obviously it could be a nightmare if I've got a lot of track going over there which I've got to cut precisely and um, I <laughs> try and make sure there won't be any derailments but I'll worry about that when I come to it there's so much advice on YouTube and um, I know a few of you have got around the issues and uh, I do watch very closely on how everyone gets around these little niggly bits and with success as well so there we are Wooten Bassett Junction as it should be this section here which runs off now that is this bit here it comes around behind the signal box all the way around and back onto there now at the moment it, to this day this is where the gravel yard or gravel works is I think it's yeoman uh, still coming in and out of there picking up gravel so that is this and once I move all this track back that way towards the wall I'll have room at the front here to put in a gravel yard which I'd love to be able to do I don't know if it was there in the in the 60s uh, 50s 60s I'll have to do a little bit more research but even if it wasn't it would just be a lovely addition again to the layout And I hope you agree and I hope you can see that yes it should fit it is doable as I said it'll be a few tweaks here and there but I can fit it all in and uh, yes that station will, will move backwards a bit maybe from here put it back up here somewhere which will give me the room at the front and also give me a, a, oh, a better bit of distance around on the curve so I don't actually have the curve coming off of here there might be a little bit um, but if I move the station back there won't be as much and that brings me to <coughs> this section about ooh, getting across that gap there well if I stand back here all right, and right now I'm going to insert a picture um, of what I originally wanted to do and um, I still love to do it but I don't know if it's going to be possible but hey 
it would be fun if I could do it. So, insert picture now. <laughs> you see, that is the Clifton Suspension Bridge. Now, wouldn't that look absolutely awesome? Um, I would <laughs> have no idea how I'd build it. I'd, I'd have, probably have to scratch build it, but um, I just think it would, uh, it would be an amazing feature to have on the layout. Um, how I'd be able to move it to get in and out the garage, I don't know, but hey, we all come up with ideas, don't we? And I'm sure some of you out there have got some brilliant ideas on how I could do it. Will I take it out in just one section and just put it somewhere or where they use it like a, a draw bridge where it, it, it opens in the middle and one end folds up and the other end folds up and back out the way. But should be fun, shouldn't it? So yeah, that was the uh, one idea and I think I just love to be able to do that. And uh, I suppose that then brings us down to here, down to this section. How am I going to get round that? Well, that I think will just be solid or just baseboards all the way around. I originally had thought about putting in a, uh, a viaduct, a curved viaduct, but I don't think that will be possible. Not now. We want to do Bassett Junction, so that will just have to be all baseboard round there. And this section here. Excuse the mess. Where the further yard comes out, I'm thinking of maybe putting in uh, something like box tunnel for the entrance. But I have to think a bit more about that because that'll be quite a bit. That'll be a big task. Uh, but. God, yes, it would be lovely, wouldn't it? I'd love to have box tunnel. And if I didn't do it there, I could. As you can see, look, I've got all this stuff. Every time I want to do something, I've, all of this has to be moved. And it takes ages. I've got to put the bikes outside, move all that wood. I could maybe put it in here somewhere. Which actually might be a better idea because at least you'd be able to get to see it a lot better than you could in that corner. So yes, and then this bit would come off, off and onto the Clifton Suspension Bridge, which would be expand right across to here, to that section, come round here and into Wooden Bassett Junction. So it's all ideas in the making at the moment, but uh, yeah, I, I have decided that Wooden Bassett Junction is going to be this side of the garage and no idea what I'd do that side but I don't have to worry about that because I can, I can do all that when I come to it so the main thing now is to get on with the fiddle yard and make sure the new incline actually works all right and that's Debbie so anyway I've got to go now and have a lovely Easter everyone and speak to you soon. Bye!